A fourth one is our DNA, which is much more than a genetic code. Our DNA fixes itself because it's damaged all the time and damaged DNA leads to cancer and other diseases. But our DNA is hardwired to fix itself and to slow down its own, our cellular aging. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. Lee, a pioneer in angiogenesis, a world-renowned physician and author of Eat to Beat Disease. What if you could nourish your body with delicious lunches that also promote cellular regeneration? Well, that is exactly what this video is about. Join us in this exciting video as we reveal four lunches that are inspired by Dr. William Lee and stem cell boosting foods he has identified. This food is amazing. Discover four delicious and practical lunch ideas, each packed with ingredients scientifically shown to support your body's natural stem cell activity. Learn how to incorporate a variety of stem cell boosting ingredients like leafy greens, omega-3 rich seafood, and antioxidant powerhouses into your everyday lunch routine. Join Dr. William Lee on a culinary adventure for cellular health. Dr. Lee will tell us a little about some of the ingredients in each lunch. Dr. Lee. Number two, there's another fat that you should know about that's found associated with protein. That's in seafood, and that's omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s also help our stem cells regenerate. They prompt our body to stay renewed, which is important for aging. Where do you get omega-3s? Well, besides salmon and anchovies and mackerel and sardines, you hear about that a lot. It turns out many, many, many different kinds of seafoods and even seaweeds actually edible seaweeds actually have omega-3 so one of the things that i write about in my new book eat to beat your diet is leaning into that seafood section of the grocery store which you know some people already like seafood but some people aren't familiar and i want to take people's apprehension away to say dive in there because there's a lot of great stuff that's a secret to longevity as well it turns out in many of the blue zones and in many places where people live to a ripe old age they eat reasonable amounts of seafood regularly. Next ingredient. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. This turns out to be Swiss chard, rainbow chard. Look at that beautiful color of the stems. Um, I really think this is a, quite an amazing, uh, they look like blood vessels, which is what I study. Um, but they're really, really beautiful. And it turns out that Swiss chard uh, is a, a member of the beet family. Beet family like uh, spinach also is a same member of the family. So what's actually in uh, Swiss chard and beets and spinach that's actually good for your health? It turns out that these plants that glow, grow very low to the ground, okay, they pick up a lot of nitrogen from the soil. Now, nitrogen from the soil uh, actually gets converted in the body, in the gut, into nitric oxide. So here's how it works. Whether you're eating a beet, whether you're eating spinach, or whether you're having Swiss chard, this beautiful stuff. Look at that color. What happens when you chew it really well, okay, so that's why it has to be tasty, the um, tongue microbiome, healthy bacteria that's on your tongue, actually will convert the nitrogen in the plant from the soil into a form that when you swallow the food, in this case Swiss chard, will actually turn into uh, nitric oxide it's absorbed into your bloodstream. What's nitric oxide? Nitric oxide is actually a type of gas, but it doesn't bubble or anything like that. It's in our bloodstream. It causes our blood vessels to dilate, lowers blood pressure, Okay, which is a calming thing, but also helps to recruit stem cells, uh, one of our body's health defense systems, to really help us heal and repair from inside out. So I'm going to just pick one of these leaves just to show you um, just how beautiful this can be. I'm going to take a small one. Here, look at this. This baby here has got full of nitrogen from the soil and actually can help recruit stem cells. And now for our first lunch, which focuses on ingredients which help regenerate stem cells. Mediterranean Power Bowl. Packed with antioxidants and omega-3s, this bowl features grilled salmon high in omega-3s, chopped kale rich in vitamins A, C, and K, chopped Swiss chard supports detoxification, crumbled whole grain bread fiber for gut health, a drizzle of olive oil healthy fats, and a handful of blackberries antioxidant power. Let's do it, 
<laughs> and now Dr. Lee will tell us about some of the ingredients in our next stem cell regrowing lunch. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm at the market and I'm holding an eggplant. And some of you may have heard of me talking about this before. But while eggplant does belong to the plant uh, group called uh, Solanacea, which night cheese belong to as well, eggplants are not toxic. And that is just an urban legend. Eggplant's a great source of vitamin A, vitamin C. It's got a good source of dietary fiber. And look at this nice purple coloration. That's from anthocyanins, which we know lowers, not raises, lowers inflammation. So uh, when you see one of these, think about how you're going to actually cook it and eat it because it is just delicious. One of the things I'm trying to do is to actually halt the spread of misinformation online about food because food is our medicine. Next ingredient. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee here. I am actually at the Asian market and I thought I would actually show you some finds that I actually have. Check this out. This is exactly what I talk about in my book, Eat to Beat Disease, Chinese Celery. Now, there is actually a compound in Chinese celery that stimulates stem cells. That's so powerful that in China, they've actually approved this compound to treat strokes because it actually helps to regenerate the brain and create better blood flow. So, next time you actually are looking for celery, if you're in an Asian market, look for the Chinese celery. Look, it's a little bit bendy, all right? That's okay. And now for our second lunch, Asian Fusion Stir Fry. This vibrant lunch combines delicious flavors with stem cell supporting ingredients. Stir fry cube tofu plant-based protein with sliced eggplant phytonutrients for cell health and chopped Chinese celery rich in vitamins and minerals in a light sauce made with soy sauce, rice vinegar, and a touch of red wine potential source of resveratrol for longevity. Serve on a bed of brown rice whole grain for fiber and garnish with chopped green onions and sesame seeds. It's delicious! And now for our third lunch, which focuses on ingredients which help regrow stem cells. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I want to show you something. This is a very healthy uh, produce you can find in the market, avocado. It's a great source of dietary fiber and healthy fats, monounsaturated called oleic acid. Basic ole oleic acid is the same stuff you find in olive oil. So, if you want to benefit your circulation, your blood vessels, and your gut health, think about uh, avocados. If you want to learn more, I'm inviting you to join me in my Eat to Beat Disease online course. Links in the bio. Sign up for my Eat to Beat Disease online course. You're going to learn about so much uh, on your body and foods that can activate your health defenses. Eat to Beat Disease course. Sign up at the link in the bio. Next ingredient. I, I also want to point out, particularly as people are getting older, that soy in its whole form, like edamame, or its fermented forms like tofu and tempeh, mm -hmm. um, etc. They're good sources of protein as well. And, you know, mm -hmm. we talk about all the bioactives and all that stuff, but let's not forget about the fact that we need good, healthy intake of protein. That's something that is so important as we age mm -hmm. to have the proper amount. You know, you don't want to overload yourself on protein, but you also don't want to ignore some of these plant-based foods. You know, people go, well, you know, if you're telling me not to eat red meat, well, I'm not going to be having that much protein. Wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, soy foods, nuts and legumes, great sources of healthy proteins uh, as well. So let's not forget about that. And now for our third lunch, deconstructed sushi bowl. Enjoy the taste of sushi with a healthy twist. Combine cooked brown rice with chopped seaweed source of iodine for healthy thyroid function, sliced avocado healthy fats, edamame pods plant-based protein, and a sprinkle of toasted black sesame seeds. Add a side of steamed broccoli vitamin C for cell health drizzled with a light tamari sauce. It's delicious! Now for our final lunch that focuses on stem cell regeneration. Ingredients. And everyone knows that spinach is good for you, but a lot of people don't know why it's good for you. It turns out that spinach, which grows very close to the ground, is a great source of dietary nitrates. When you um, make the food taste and you chew it, it turns out that microbiome in your tongue. Healthy gut bacteria in your tongue will uh, convert the nitrogen into a form that when you swallow it, turns in, in your body into uh, nitric oxide. And this actually helps to uh, widen your blood vessels and lower your blood pressure. Next ingredient. 
Now, I'm going to throw one last kind of delight and surprise that can help your stem cells, which help to rebuild your brain and your heart and your muscles, actually is dark chocolate. Turns out, chocolate's a candy. Okay, it's a confection. But to make dark chocolate, you have high amounts, 70%, 80%, 90% cacao. Cacao is actually from a seed pod, the cacao plant. And that's a plant-based food. It turns out there's natural chemicals, bioactives in cacao made in dark chocolate at high concentrations that help our stem cells come out and rebuild our muscles, our circulation, many other parts that need to be renewed. And as we get older, one of the things we want to do is we want to continuously be renewed rather than broken down. These are some of the ways that we think about diet and longevity. And now for our final lunch summer berry salad with dark chocolate this refreshing lunch is light and packed with antioxidants mix together a bed of spinach rich in vitamins and minerals with chopped strawberries blueberries and raspberries antioxidant powerhouses top with crumbled feta cheese protein source and a sprinkle of chopped dark chocolate flavanols for heart health drizzle with a simple vinaigrette dressing it's super delicious join the club please give us a thumbs up Share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.